Good morning and welcome. On behalf of the Weicker family, thank you from the bottom of my heart for the family and friends whom have traveled from near and far to be with us today. Um, I want to thank those that are in the parish hall next door and those whom are watching it live stream. We wish we could fit everyone in one room, but we know that all that are watching and all that are next door are with us in spirit. I would like to extend a special thank you to Bishop Mello, Father Robinson, Father Crisp, and Reverend Gerber. The family is truly grateful for your care, concern, love, thoughtfulness, and involvement in today's service. As I stand before you this morning for the celebration of Dad's life, let me share a few of my recollections, starting with my children which would be incredibly embarrassing to each one of them. <laughs> Amanda. Amanda's memories range from living at Pop's camp on Lake Avenue when we were between homes, to the famous Boosh on Christmas Eve, to celebrating Easter at the Greeniest Briar, or as it's more commonly referred to, the Green Briar Resort. Pop was the keynote speaker at her graduation from George Washington University. The graduation took place on the National Mall in DC, where over 10,000 people were in attendance. For Amanda, it was totally frightening and overwhelming <laughs> as she was on the main stage and had to speak. For Pop, he thrived as uh, he loved being in front of as many people as humanly possible. <laughs> a little aside, Amanda interned with Senator Dodd her senior year at GW. Thank you, Senator Dodd, for being such a key part of the Weicker family for so many years and over so many generations. Melissa. Melissa lived with Pop and Claudia on numerous occasions, including Lake Avenue, where Melissa would be up before dawn with Pop. He would make, her, make pancakes for her. To Melissa, he was the pancake king. <laughs> to Charlottesville, where she spent a summer between junior and senior year living with Pop, Claudia, and Trey. Melissa helped organize his political papers at UVA, a priceless experience. She could work on the papers during the day and get his personal perspective at night. Melissa will always cherish those special times with Pop. Matthew, last but not least, Pop exposed Matt to his passion, scuba diving, at an incredibly early age, age eight. In fact, Pop rented a mini scuba tank in BC so that Matt could get accustomed to the feel of scuba diving in Pop's pool in St. Croix. Matthew was hooked immediately. He went on to become a certified scuba diver at only age 10. Today, the earliest age to be certified, a certified scuba diver is age 12, so he was ahead of his time. <laughs> Matthew went on to become a scuba diving master and scuba diving instructor in St. Croix, along with becoming a ship's captain. Pop simply bursted with pride and love that Matt followed in his footsteps by pursuing his scuba diving passion and becoming such an accomplished and masterful scuba diver. Shifting gears, as we all know, Lowell was a competitive man. This, this competitive spirit was exemplified not only in his political life, but his personal life as well. I recall playing tennis with Dad, Claudia, and Lisa in one of his favorite places, Black Point. He hit a shot, and I lunged to hit it back. Something popped in my ankle as I lunged and dropped to the court, rupturing my Achilles tendon. He came over to the net and looked down at me and said, just so you know, we won the point. <laughs> As I looked up to him, this towering figure who blocked the sun, I said, I totally agree, you won the point. 
He then said, now, what's wrong? <laughs> and I said, this is when the other side of dad kicked in. He was at his absolute best when someone needed help. He was a man who would go to any lengths to help those in need, be it his son, a family member, or someone he had never met before. It made no difference. Each of you know about this characteristic of Lowell's, and each of you can relay a story or personal experience about him helping others. Lastly, as you all know, Dad was not a man for small talk. I would call and say, hey, Dad, Scott here checking in to see how you're doing. He would immediately say, is everything all right? And I, say, I would say, absolutely. I just wanted to call, and say hello, and catch up. He would say, everything is fine here, so thanks for calling. <laughs> uh, I then began timing my calls to see how long I could stay on the call with Lowell. And uh, before I was given the heave-ho, uh, the average call, as Lisa knows, was 20 seconds or less. <laughs> um, when Lisa and I visited Dad, he would be watching one of his four favorite movies, which should come as no surprise to any of you, given the key central character in each. Ben-Hur, <laughs> Winds of War, The Gathering Storm, Winston Churchill, and Gandhi. Uh, so after we caught up with family and other stuff, and before we could move on to other topics, he would say, I know you guys are busy, so thanks for coming, which is his way of saying goodbye. <laughs> uh, travel time to Old Lyme, three hours. Lowell time, 15 minutes. <laughs> but I wouldn't change a thing. It was absolutely worth the three hours of drive time for each and every minute with him. From me and all those gathered here today, love you, Dad. Thank you, everybody.